it's about 72 degrees out right now and sunny up here in Minnesota. And I have 20 W50 oil here in this RX-8. Um, I will show you what the oil pressure does when you start it up. So what I'm going to try to do is record the camera here that the audio is coming from that's aimed at the gauges and then I'll try to record it as well from my phone the actual gauges themselves so you can see the correlation between the oil pressure and the RPMs when the oil is cold. So let me get the phone kind of set up here just so I can get it in the right spot if I don't drop it. All right. So there were about just about 1800 RPM cold oil over 100 PSI. There she's warming up just a touch and kind of bouncing between 1500 and 1750. Still pushing almost 100. And so you can see I'm about 1500 there, still pushing 90s. Warms up just a little bit more. This is still on the stock ECU on a street ported motor. Uh, we have to get the ECU tuned by Jason Good and then uh, we'll have a little bit better warm up procedure here as well as well as a whole bunch of other additives. So you can see we're sitting about 80 PSI, about 1250 RPM. Eventually here it'll drop to below a thousand RPM at idle, which is something else we're gonna fix with the tune. Uh, I want it to idle right about where it is now at about 1200, 1250, um, just constantly. So we're always pushing about 70 PSI of oil. That's with 20W50 though. So the idea is that this has an upgraded, I should say upgraded, um, oil bypass regulator. Um, it sits in the rear iron and it regulates the pressure at which the oil can bypass the filter, I believe, if I have my terminology correct here. And uh, this car, we had the stock bypass oil regulator was set at about, I think these are set at 80. Uh, some FDs are set at like 100 or 120. We never actually tested this one, but it's either like 80 or 100. So it's not that significant of oil pressure. But this one was crushed, which is a really common old school rotary trick. You crush it and then test the bypass. And this one right now has actually the bypass regulator from an FD in the motor. But uh, they're pretty much the same thing except for the springs in them. And this one was crushed and tested at 130 PSI. And so I have it scratched all over the regulator in the... Uh, iron itself in the oil pan and so when the oil is cold it holds a lot of oil pressure obviously when I started it there it was at a over 150 psi of oil pressure upon startup with 20 w50 it's 70 degrees the oil temp is the same temp as outside this is the first start of the morning and so as the oil warms up here eventually you'll see that even when the oil is warm, it's still pushing a ridiculous amount of oil pressure uh, through the system. So there we just saw on the right, the oil temperature went to 102, 103 degrees now. And you can see my cooling gauge is starting to creep up a little bit on the left on the phone video. So this is a good example of how much oil pressure an RX-8 set of dual oil coolers can handle. This one's been running this oil pressure for the last five or 6,000 miles now. Yeah, just uh, 133 on the car here. Um, so it's pretty ridiculous what you can get for oil pressure out of these coolers. I'm gonna run these in my peripheral port first gen uh, this next season and we'll see. It'll, she's gonna be running about 150 PSI oil pressure as well just because I wanna make sure everything stays well moved. So that's about two grand, 110 oil temp, sitting about high 70s. 
back down to about where it's, it hasn't dropped the idle yet to warm idle, there it has. Just a little bit below a thousand, it'll, it'll jump between 750 and a thousand here. So it's in about 40 PSI there, eventually it'll drop a little bit more too once the oil pressure reaches 180, I'll check in again then. back here we've fully warmed up uh, if you look at the oil temp we're about 184 right now idling about 750 to 850 in there somewhere bun bouncing because it needs to be tuned um, sitting about 25 psi of oil say somewhere in there um, just a touch below a thousand so let's bring it up to the rpm where it's going to be tuned to to idle sorry this is a little difficult with this thing because it doesn't really want to sit that low about 1250 is right about there ish. Sitting up almost 50 psi of oil. Just a touch under 50. Yeah, about high 40s is what the oil pressure would be when she's idling right about there. So that's at idle, and then let's give her some revs here. So this is about. 4,500. Got to 150 before six grand there. So again, let's go to like this is 3,500. About 6,500. Got up to about 130. So now the oil is up to almost 200. Once the oil gets a little bit warmer, the oil pressure drops just a touch there. You can see. So now we're at about 750. She's about 20. Touch lower than that. It's idle, so yeah, just about 40 still. So once you get below about here, once you get down to about a thousand there, you start really losing oil pressure, and that's about 20s. And then once I actually let it idle, it idles pretty low right now, and it's it's below 20 almost. Um, so that is kind of the video on what the oil pressures are in a Mazda RX-8 with the upped oil pressure, um, and what the oil coolers can handle in an RX-8. It's kind of a cool video. I thought that I'd do quick uh, to show you how well these oil coolers perform and that I'm actually going to be running them in a high performance car here next season because they are amazing. So nobody be stealing all the ones I want to try to get out of part outs. Uh, thanks for watching guys. This was Austin with Dream and Rotary. Keep on rotating fellas.